Whether crypto advanced or unspeakably new, Bitcoin.com has a wallet for you. The United States of Easily Scared People. Eh, that's what I like to call this place when... Well, on the rare occasions when there's a terror attack inside the United States like this one. The best statistics I have indicate that terrorists only manage to kill about 10 Americans each year between 2000. Nine and 2013, but that hasn't stopped Americans from losing their shit, dropping their pants, and bending over to any government that says it's anti-terrorist. And admittedly, there are some years where the numbers were higher. A lot higher. Sometimes approaching 5 or 10 percent of the number of civilians that Americans kill in these so-called terrorist countries. Anyway, having said that, Terrorism is a real problem, and, however small it might be, it's still useful to have some constructive things that we can do about it. Here are two that some of you, in your neocon rage, may not have thought of. In 2004, I was taking a, a kung fu class, and uh, there was a Saudi guy in the class, and I thought, you know, like anyone else, you know, oh, I wonder if he, you know, he's a Saudi, is he planning a terrorist attack? <laughs> you know? And, and I, I thought, well, let's just assume that he is. You know, the, really the best thing I can do about it is not to investigate him. I've got other things to do with my life. It's not to report him or anything like that. I mean, and there were more things going on with Saudis than just that, that I, that I knew. Like, I had a Saudi that tried to talk me into, like, sponsoring him illegally. <laughs> right? Right? So, uh, him I really could have reported. But, you know, other than sort of declining to help him with that, I think this was actually a little bit before 9-11. I, I, I probably didn't really, I didn't really have much in the way of interaction with that guy. But the, the other guy, the one in my class, really liked that guy. And you know, the best thing I can do uh, is just be nice to the guy, you know, so that he knows that if he decides to take down the Bank One building or something like that, we called it the Green Weenie when I lived in Dallas. It was huge on the Dallas skyline. You've seen it, probably. Well, well, he anyway, he'll know that there's a chance I'll be in that building, and I really was quite a bit because I ate there. That's one thing I could do. But there's something else I'm doing more recently it probably won't have too much effect, but it can't hurt any. You know, one of the reasons, if Saudis want to kill Americans, I suspect one of the reasons they want to kill Americans is because Americans tend to be ugly Americans. And one of the prime characteristics of an ugly American is that they never speak your language. That they're all a bunch of monolinguals, right? And maybe they speak a few words of bad Spanish. That's the stereotype. So I'm working on breaking that one this month and maybe next, probably not much longer than that, by learning Arabic. Probably not going to learn a ton. Again, just enough to prove I'm not an ugly American. So if any of you are listening and you speak Arabic, please tell me if I've got any of this wrong because I had to get it off of Google Translate. These are the most important phrases, I think. You know, if you only have to pick a, 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 a couple sentences worth. Anna antekalamo arabiet so, Luhat, Yosifani, and uh, Asifa. Okay, so, tell me if I said, <laughs> if I really did say, I don't speak Arabic, I'm sorry. That's what I was trying to say. One of the dangerous things with Arabic is that apparently it's got some sort of freaky thing going on where, like, if you're talking, if you're, if male and female is handled wildly differently, and it seems like there are multiple ways to say the same thing in the, the language tapes I'm listening to, or it's, it's harder, it's harder than any of the others, uh, except maybe one. And, again, I'm not going to freaking learn how to understand much of anything, but... I think it is just a useful thing the average person can do uh, to, you know, reduce tensions between America and any other place. Just learn a little bit of, you know, some languages. Prove to someone every month or two that you're not an ugly American and you cared about their people enough to learn a little bit of their language. You'll run into them sooner or later. I do, and I'm, I hardly ever get out. Why does the world look like this? Well, it's because you're using these instead of these. Admittedly, so am I sometimes. 
But if you're not using Bitcoin yet, you're missing the boom of the century. So go to Bitcoin.com, get their free wallet, find out what it's like to be in a free market. Whether crypto advanced or unspeakably new, Bitcoin.com has a wallet for you.